This is the first of 100 wells we're gonna build in this video. Oh, water! While the orphanage was being built, we began our next project where we gave away 20,000 pairs of shoes to kids in Africa. This is the first out of a thousand deaf people that we're gonna help here again. And she hasn't heard her mother's voice in four years. Over the last few years, Mr. Beast has given away so much money, like millions and millions of dollars. But I don't think anyone's ever done a video showing what happens after you win a load of money from Mr. Beast. Do you just walk off set with your briefcase full of $100,000? Or is it slightly more complicated than that? The YouTube sensation known for his jaw-dropping giveaways and larger-than-life challenges. But what if there's more to these seemingly generous acts than meets the eye? Today, we uncover the untold dark truth about Mr. Beast's random giveaways. From giving away islands to piles of cash, Mr. Beast or Jimmy Donaldson has built an empire on generosity. We just hit 100 million subscribers and from the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone that subscribed. And to celebrate, I bought this ginormous private island and I'm giving it to one of you in this video. But behind the spectacle, there are whispers of controversy and criticism. Are these giveaways as altruistic as they seem? Welcome to Money Thinkers. Here we dive deep into the world of entrepreneurs, big company finances, crime, power, and everything else about money. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. To understand the allure of Mr. Beast's giveaways, we need to look at the numbers. In 2023 alone, he gave away over $1 million in cash, not to mention cars, houses, and even life-changing surgeries. But how does this generosity translate into profit? Mr. Beast's videos are structured to maximize viewer engagement. The more spectacular the giveaway, the more views and ad revenue he generates. Each viral video brings in substantial income from YouTube ads, sponsorships, and merchandise sales. But it's not just about the ad revenue. Mr. Beast has been accused of manipulating his audience's trust. By creating a persona of endless generosity, he fosters a loyal following willing to support his ventures, including his Feastables chocolate bars and Ember Beast burger chain. He proudly advertises that every t-shirt sold on his website will come with his personal autograph, a promise that excites his loyal fans. They eagerly place their orders, imagining the thrill of owning a piece of memorabilia directly signed by him. But the excitement soon turns into disappointment and betrayal when they discover that the signatures on their shirts are not his at all, but someone else's. Isn't it deeply concerning that he would deceive his own supporters in such a way? Consider the ongoing struggle with obesity in the United States, where countless individuals battle daily to make healthier choices. Despite this, you have chosen to increase the sugar content and add more calories to his feastable chocolates. This decision seems not only irresponsible, but also potentially harmful to the well-being of your consumers. Isn't it profoundly concerning that you would prioritize profit over the health of those who trust your brand? Okay, maybe I need to take it slower. But here's the question, is this genuine generosity or a well-crafted business strategy? What do you think? Mr. Beast's giveaways have also raised legal and ethical questions. According to some experts, many of his challenges may technically be classified as lotteries, which are tightly regulated and often illegal without proper licensing. It's insane that he can flip these massively profitable, illegal lotteries targeted towards children as a, an act of generosity. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to go place an order at shopmrbeast.com. Anyone watching any of the lives? And um, we're going to throw iPhones in some of them. And then there are the ethical concerns. Critics argue that his high stakes challenges and lavish giveaways exploit the psychology of gambling, especially troubling given his predominantly young audience. So in another one of Mr. Beast's giveaways, he purchased a thousand Samsung phones and gave them away randomly to people who subscribe to his channel. Now, whether this is an illegal lottery or a legal sweepstakes depends on whether the state law construes subscribing to the channel as consideration. Public opinion on Mr. Beast's methods is divided. While many laud his efforts to give back, others see a darker side. But it's not. If they were having problems finding people, they can see kind of what area you're in. Uh, hmm. And they came to my area many times, and I was in the smallest cupboard. <laughs> they had like big ones, medium ones, and small ones. I contorted this little four foot ten body into the smallest space, and I was in there for hours. <laughs> And they didn't even open the door because they were like, a person can't even fit in there. So they went in oh there and they God. opened all the cabinets and my heart was like, oh, they're going to find me. They're going to find me. <laughs> and then I could hear them saying, like, she's not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she's not here. <laughs> He's faced backlash for stunts perceived as mean-spirited, such as the mystery gift prank, which led to disappointment rather than joy. Additionally, his recent charitable acts, like funding surgeries for the blind and deaf, have been labeled as inspiration porn, exploitative, and self-serving. 
We do a lot of stuff for helping people, and so also if I lived in a $10 million mansion while I'm feeding people and trying to help people, also, in my eyes, it's also a little hypocritical as well. So, In response, Mr. Beast maintains that his intentions are pure, aiming to help as many people as possible. This is the first out of a thousand deaf people that we're going to help here again. And she hasn't heard her mother's voice in four years. Can you hear? I love you. Do the ends justify the means? Are these giveaways acts of kindness or calculated marketing? What's your take? Mr. Beast's rise to fame is a testament to the power of social media and sensational content. His giveaways have undoubtedly changed lives, but they also spark important conversations about the ethics of online entertainment. How much does your tuition cost? $14,000. Carl, Nolan, come in here real quick. Give me one second. Oh, wow. God, so this is $10,000. He said it was fourteen grand. so give me one of those. Um, you know, I just have $20,000. No, I have some extra no, money. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> your college tuition is now paid for. You literally could have lied to me and said hundred grand, and we would have given it to you. As we watch these acts of generosity unfold, it's crucial to question and understand the motives behind them. In a world driven by clicks and views, what's the true cost of such grand gestures? Is Mr. Beast a hero, a savvy businessman, or something in between? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And hey, one of these videos right here might interest you as well. Go ahead and watch it. See you there.